Good afternoon. Welcome to the spring commencement ceremony of the University of Houston, Victoria. Will the audience please be seated and remain seated during the processional. We ask that you please turn off all cell phones during the ceremony. For your safety and as a courtesy to others, please take photos from your seated area. Thank you.
The candidate and the faculty are assembled. We may proceed with commencement exercise. Candidate, faculty, and the platform party, please be seated. Thank you, Dr. Binner. It is my pleasure to welcome you, students, families, faculty, staff, and friends, to the Spring 2018 Commencement Ceremony at the University of Houston, Victoria. And since it's Mother's Day weekend, we want to have a special welcome to all the mothers. Join us today in our ceremony are distinguished representatives from the University of Houston system, as well as special guests and friends. I am pleased to introduce them now, and I'll ask them to stand. From the University of Houston system Board of Regents, the Honorable Paula Mendoza, recently elected Secretary of the Board, and the Honorable Neil Machala, who is the student regent on the board and will bring greetings shortly. I'm also happy to present to you some representatives from the President's Regional Advisory Board. This board is a group of outstanding citizens who offer the university administration wise and timely advice on many issues. Please stand while I read your names. Board Chair, Mr. John Shute of Edna. Mr. Jack Swanson of Wharton County. And Mr. Brett Baldwin and Ms. Deborah Williams of Victoria County. UHV is fortunate to have dedicated administrators who work to help students achieve success and are part of the President's Cabinet. Some of them are seated behind me on stage, and I would like to ask them to stand and be recognized at this time. At the heart of any university, of course, is its faculty. You've already seen and heard from a faculty representative, our Grand Marshal, Dr. Joseph ben -Ur, President of the Faculty Senate and a Professor of Marketing in the School of Business Administration. The Grand Marshal plays an important role in today's ceremony. Please join me in greeting Dr. ben -Ur. <laughs> Finally, I am pleased to introduce to you my colleagues, the faculty, the people who provide the wisdom, the caring, the skills, and the knowledge that elevate and empower our graduates. Will the faculty please rise and be recognized? <laughs> now I would like everyone to stand as the Student Government Association President, Mr. Alvaro de la Cruz, leads us in a moment of reflection. Good afternoon, everyone. If all the men in the room could please take off their caps at this time. And ladies, if you would like to take off your caps, you can do so. But if you're not able to, that's totally OK. I won't force you to. All right. On this day, a new phase of life begins for these graduates. So together with their family and friends gathered here, they look to the future. May they lead with confidence as they embark on new ventures. May they respect the needs of others as they strive for their ultimate goals. May there be peace in the world and in the hearts of every man and woman. We will now offer a moment of silence for those who wish to reflect upon this day or offer thanks for this memorable time in their lives. Thank you.
Please be seated. Dr. R. Vic Morgan began his ac academic career 49 years ago as an assistant professor of mathematics at SMU. Shortly after that, he moved to Sol Ross State University in Alpine, and the Texas State University System Board of Regents appointed him president in 1990, making him the first president of Sol Ross to come from within the ranks of its faculty. He served for 19 years as president before stepping down in 2009. He then served as special assistant to the vice chancellor and president designate of the University of North Texas at Dallas until 2010. Dr. Morgan first came to UHV in 2014 as interim president and was made president in 2016. This is his last commencement at UHV before he retires in August. Please join me in welcoming R. Victor Morgan, the 10th president of the University of Houston, Victoria. Well, good afternoon. It's indeed a pleasure to be here with you this afternoon for this commencement ceremony. Commencement represents one of the most important rituals in higher education, in fact, in the academic world. The academic traditions that we observe as we participate in commencement are intended to honor and affirm our graduates their dedication, and their accomplishments. I'm delighted that all of these candidates and their guests are here to participate so that we can properly recognize them for their achievements at UHV. I want to tell you that as your UHV president, I'm proud of each and every one of you and uh, look forward to the things that you're going to accomplish uh, once you have your UHV degree. Your graduation is a great cause for celebration at UHV, not only for your family and your friends, but also for our institution. As we celebrate you, our graduates, we are also celebrating UHV's success because indeed that's what we're here for. We're here to help you reach this point in your studies and career. During the last four years, our university has grown to more than 4,300 students studying in 70 degree programs and concentrations. UHV has no ethnic majority among its student population. We are a Hispanic serving institution and have a very diverse student body. Now includes more than 140 international students from 26 countries, and our faculty is equally diverse. During the last four years, the university has added more than 60,000 square feet of academic space to our campus, CIS, campus is. And we're set to again more than double in size by the end of 2019. It won't be long before we open our university commons the new student center and library. We are starting construction on a new science, engineering, technolo or science technology, engineering, and mathematics building uh, towards the end of June, early July. And we'll begin construction on a new residence hall, a 276-bed residence hall that we will call the Don and Mona Smith Residence Hall in honor of UHV Provost Emeritus Don Smith. We also will begin renovation on the Town Plaza Mall within the next few weeks. We're also growing in Katy. The UH system is breaking ground on a new 80,000 square foot building in Katy. Later this month, they will house degree programs offered by both UHV and the University of Houston main campus. UHV is now part of the Guided Pathways 
to Success Initiative, which is a collaboration of two and four year institutions in the Texas Gulf Coast region. The purpose of this collaboration is working to increase higher education completion rates. We have the third largest MBA program in Houston and have achieved numerous national rankings in our School of Business Administration for quality, accessibility, and affordability. Finally, during these past four years, we have established some new traditions, which are going to be traditions that will carry us into the future. And traditions are what make students and the university rememberable or memorable in the lives of the people who pass our way. Those traditions include the development by the students of a new hand sign, the Jaguar Claw. The students also designed and have developed a new class ring. And uh, some of you are, are wearers of that new ring today. And the students initiated planning for an alma mater. And this will be the first time the alma mater is sung during commencement ceremonies today. And it will be part of the traditions in the future. And each commencement will sing the alma mater, another tradition. We appreciate you going on your journey with us. We're excited about your Jaguar pride. As you uh, just heard, it's a great time to be a Jaguar. It's now my privilege to invite the Honorable Neil Mutayala, student regent of the UH System Board of Regents, to bring greetings on behalf of the regents. Regent Mutayala. Good afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today to deliver greetings on behalf of the University of Houston System Board of Regents and your fellow students from your three sister universities, the University of Houston, the University of Houston Clear Lake, and the University of Houston Downtown. Before I begin, I would like, a I would like to take a moment to recognize Regent Paula Mendoza, who's here on stage with me. She is the board secretary vice chair of the board's academic and student success committee, and most importantly, a proud UH System alumni. <laughs> By tradition, the longest tenured regent in attendance delivers these commencement remarks. Regent Mendoza has graciously allowed me this honor, in part because I am what you all have been for the past few years, a student. I still remember my first visit to UH Victoria, walking among your new buildings and your well-maintained campus. But as beautiful as the view was on the outside, I quickly found out it was nothing in comparison to the people on the inside. Here at UHV, I had an opportunity to see what you all call Jack's Nation, a culture of Jaguars helping Jaguars, a culture of hard work and learning, and a culture of leadership and innovation. What makes UHV great is more than its location or its buildings. It is each and every one of you who come here day after day and week after week to make a difference. We thank you for this and for all that you have done so far for our Jaguar community. As a student myself, I recognize these last few years have not always been easy. I'm certain there were many difficulties that made it hard for you to come here today. Yet by making these sacrifices to overcome these obstacles, you all have shown today that persistence leads to success. And while you persist, do not forget those that have helped you along the way. Whether it be a fellow student who lent you a pen when you had forgotten yours, or a mentor who gave you sound advice when you needed it, we have all benefited from the support of others. Take a good look around you right now and find those who have stood strong by your side your peers who sit next to you, the UHV faculty and staff who are present here today, your proud friends and relatives who crowd the stands, and perhaps most importantly, your parents. Remember to thank them and thank them often. 
In a few very short moments, your degrees will be conferred and you will all be UHV graduates. It is important to recognize that the real degree is not merely the diploma you will hang on your wall, but rather, it is the sum of your experiences and growth here at UHV and all that you make of it in the years ahead. I know that UHV has taught you not to just reach expectations, but to exceed them and to redefine them. And as a student in the UH system, I could not be prouder to know that you will be my future alumni and the future leaders in our communities. And so on behalf of the Board of Regents and your peers from across the UH system, congratulations. We wish you the very best in your future. We will always be here to support and cheer for you. And it is our hope that as you continue to make big strides in the years ahead, you stay in touch with your alma mater. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Regent Mutala. We're honored that you're here with us today and honored to have uh, Regent Mendoza as well. Both of these folks have been incredibly supportive of UHV through the years and, uh, and are often at our ceremonies and events. So we appreciate very much uh, what they've done for us. I'd like to take a few minutes now to talk to you a little bit about what's important in your lives. And folks, I have one last quiz to give you. And you thought you were through, didn't you? One last final exam today. I uh, grew up in a very small town. And one of the things about growing up in a small town is that when you're out as a young person, you may not know what you're doing, but somebody else does and they'll tell your parents before you get home. So I grew up with my parents knowing a whole lot about what I was into before I ever got home and had a chance to tell my side of the story. Some of you maybe have heard me tell stories about uh, my high school class rank, which was not very good, and about trying to get started into college and struggling through a number of years before I finally caught up for not doing what I should have done in high school. And I share these kinds of stories with you for just two reasons. And the folks in the audience who have young people who are getting ready to go to college need to uh, hear this as well. First of all, this is to let you know that everything you do is an experience that will be useful to you if for no other reason than for use in speeches like this or to serve as a bad example for somebody else to use in speeches like this. <laughs> Secondly, so that you too will know in the words of that famous philosopher, Yogi Berra, my future was ahead of me and your future is ahead of you. It certainly is bright and promising because of your graduation today. As you may have guessed with an educator as a speaker, I do want to give you another exam. This will probably be your final, final exam. It's a type of test that was uh, developed by Charles Schultz. If you don't recognize that name, Charles Schultz was the author of the Peanuts strip cartoons. He gave a lot of sage advice in that cartoon strip. One of those uh, uh, pieces of advice for Charlie Brown that's worth you remembering today is worrying won't stop the bad things from happening, but it will keep you from enjoying the good things that happen. The quiz that I'm going to give you is designed to help you put your life in perspective and all you need to do is think about the answers. I'm not gonna pass out paper and ask you to write them down, and I'm certainly not gonna grade them between now and the time you come across the stage to get your diploma. But I do want you to think about these answers. Name the five wealthiest people in the world. 
Name the last three Heisman Trophy winners. Name the last five winners of the Miss America contest. Name the last 10 people who won a Nobel or a Pulitzer Prize. Name the last half dozen Academy Award winners for best actor, actress, or motion picture. How'd you do? Did you make an A? Did you get all of those answers? Do you remember all those people? Well, here's the point. None of us remembers many of the headliners of yesterday. And by the way, these are not second-rate people. These people are the top in their fields. They are the best out there. Their achievements, in many instances, are very significant. But the applause dies, awards tarnish, certificates and accolades with rare exception, are buried with their owners. Now let me give you the second part of the test, and let's see if you can improve your grade. Who are some teachers or faculty members who aided and encouraged you on your journey through high school or college? Name three friends who have helped you through a difficult time. Name three people you would be willing to help if they asked for your help, or maybe even if they didn't ask. Think of a few people who have made you feel appreciated or special. Think of five people you enjoy spending time with. Did you get that grade up with those questions? Was it a little easier? Were the answers a little more readily available? Well, I think certainly it was for all of us. The lesson is that people who make a difference in your life are not those with the most credentials, the most money, or the most awards. They're the ones who care, the ones who are there when we need help, or whom we can help. And they're the people who love us not for who we are, but for how we make them feel or how they make us feel. You know, a lot of those folks are here in the audience with us today, in your parents and your family and your friends. And so I'd like for you to take just a minute and stand up and turn and face these folks and give them a round of applause for the help they've given you over the last few years. You may be seated. I want to wish you the, the very best in your future. And as I said a moment ago, your future is ahead of you. And you're well prepared for it because of your UHV degree. You know, Cinderella may have gone to the ball, but she had a lot of help to get there. Just as you had a lot of help to get to this point in your career. You are each one, one of our original and most important renewable resources in this country. You represent the quality of our future and what you do will make a difference in my future, your future, the future of everyone in our community, in the state and the nation. Thank you for the opportunity to visit with you today. I wish you the best and look forward to your successes in the future, which will be UHV's successes as well. Thank you very much. Dr. Morgan, if you could come back to the podium for a second. A donation was made to honor you with the installation of an engraved paver near your office 
in the University Center building on the campus of the University of Houston, Victoria. It will read, in honor of Dr. R. Vic Morgan, UHV president, 2014 to 2018. Oh, thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank you. Thank you. To honor our commitment to teaching, research, and service, we select faculty each spring to receive special awards. These faculty members were honored at the morning commencement ceremony, so they're not here this afternoon, but I would like to take the opportunity to recognize them anyway. Please hold your applause till I name them all, then we'll give them a round of applause even though they're not here. Now the first award, the Teaching Excellence Award, goes to a faculty member who among many fine teachers has earned special respect from both students and faculty. This year's honoree is Dr. Justin Bell, director of the Honors Program and a professor of philosophy, actually an associate professor of philosophy in the School of Arts and Science. The university also recognizes a professor who has earned special respect from peers for research and scholarly activities. I'm happy to acknowledge this year's recipient of the Research and Scholarly Activity Excellence Award is Dr. Mark Ward, an associate professor of communication in the School of, Hon of Arts and Sciences. To honor commitment to service, the university, university recognizes a faculty member who makes significant positive con contributions to our community. This year's recipient of the Distinguished Faculty Service Award is Dr. Catherine Bacon, an assistant professor of counselor education in the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. So let's give them all a round of applause. UHV has many outstanding students, but those graduating with honors have shown special dedication to their studies, and I am pleased to recognize them this afternoon. Candidates, gradu candidates graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude are wearing gold braids over their robes. And their names are listed in your program, along with an explanation of what each honor means. Would all the candidates for honors Please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. Next, I would like to call your attention to student members of academic honor societies. These students are wearing cords or stoles to indicate membership in these societies which are listed in your program as well. Would all the student members of these honor societies please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. We also have with us graduating international students who are proudly wearing a sash of their country of citizenship. UHV is honored to have 16 international students from seven countries represented at our two commencement ceremonies today. International students are those enrolled at UHV on an F or a J student visa status. Would all those students please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. In addition, we have some special members of the UHV class of 2018 who are wearing Jaguar Spirit Cords. These generous students are participating in our Jags Give Back program, and we appreciate their support of UHV. Would those students please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. Finally, I would like to recognize the outstanding students for the spring selected by the School of Business Administration. These students were chosen based on their academic record and related achievements. A complete list of all the outstanding students for the spring is in your program. 
Please hold your applause until both students are recognized. Would the following students please stand? Daniel Scott Moore, outstanding graduate student. And Sophia K. Jorsky, outstanding undergraduate student. Let's give them a round of applause, please. Thank you. I will now present the candidates for degrees. The candidates for degrees in the School of Business Administration will be presented by Associate Dean Jifu Wang. Dr. Wang. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration, and Master of Science, please rise. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty, I present these candidates as having fulfilled the requirements for the designated degrees and recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Please remain standing. Will the faculty and platform party please rise? President Morgan, it is my honor to present to you these degree candidates who are students in good standing with the University of Houston, Victoria, and have completed all the requirements for their respective degrees as set forth by the faculty of the university. I recommend that these degrees be conferred. Thank you. Well, students, this is it, the moment you've been waiting for. Captured in this moment are the hours, the weeks, the months, the years of preparation and dedicated work. So take just one brief moment to reflect on that time investment on your hard won and your hard won accomplishments. By the authority vested in me by the state of Texas and on behalf of the faculty of the School of Business Administration, I now confer upon each of you and upon each of those graduating in absentia your respective degrees with all rights, honors, and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations on your achievement. You may be seated. Audience members, you're welcome to take photos of your graduate when it is his or her turn to walk in front of the stage, but please take all photos from your seating area. Dr. Ronald Salazar will announce degrees for the School of Business Administration. I would like to invite Regent Mendoza and Regent Machiala to join Dr. Morgan in extending congratulations to our graduates. We will now have the presentation of the spring 2018 graduating class. Will the faculty marshals please assist the graduates? It is now my privilege to announce the names 
of those receiving bachelor's degrees from the School of Business Administration. Cassie Lynn Abbott, summa cum laude. <laughs> Valeria Aguirre. <laughs> Sarah Naomi Alex, cum laude. Shumaila Altaf. Danielle Brooke Alvarez. Valen Marie Antrick, summa cum laude. Sierra Jade Ashley. Ross Bluda. August M. Bordofsky. Fatima Ezra Bolares, magna cum laude. Congratulations, Tracy. Tracy Ann Britt. Magna cum laude. Emily Ann Bueller. Edrica M. Burns. Bridget Ray Bustos. Elena Louise Conchola. <laughs> Patrice Noel Capone, summa cum laude. <laughs> Gemma Lisbeth Coronado, magna cum laude. Jake Austin Curran, cum laude. <laughs> Brian A. DeCastro, cum laude. Wait a second, wait a second, Courtney. Courtney Marie Driscoll, cum laude. Chelsea Fair. Bonnie Ituargo Farfan, magna cum laude. Folger. Brian Philip Henry Folger, cum laude. Nathaniel Thomas Frosch. Luis Mario Garcia. I think I can pronounce this one. Right? <laughs> Carlos Garcia. <laughs> Maria M. Garcia. <laughs> Jesus M. Gonzalez. James Henry Graham. Alicia Juan Guerrero. Juanita Gutierrez.
Taylor Ray Guzman. <laughs> Stephanie Jean Hadjofsky, magna cum laude. <laughs> Reese Francis Hannigan, cum laude. Aaron Michelle Hanselka, cum laude. Espen Hansen. Bethel Habiari Mana. Juan Manuel Hernandez. Yan Kelly Hernandez. Megan Louise Hill. Aaron C. Hudson. Alyssa D. Hudson. Sarah Elizabeth Hudson. Phoenix Wynn. Aaron Rebecca Jerkowski. Kayla L. Jones, cum laude. <laughs> Sophia K. Jorsky, summa cum laude, outstanding student. <laughs> Adriano Kaitejozovic. Steve Ulrich Kamgein. Pareshta Kia, summa cum laude. Amy Lynn Klimichek. Zachary William Koenig. Skyler Elizabeth Lacqua, magnum cum laude. Carla Noemi Lara, magna cum laude. Christopher Jordan Lopez. <laughs> Emily Jane Lupton. <laughs> Shayla Janice Mater. Janice Mater. <laughs> Yoshana McKeechan. Donna Eleanor McMullen, summa cum laude. <laughs> Golfishan Amirali Merchant. <laughs> Jamil Pierre Morton. I got it. <laughs> awesome Esan <laughs> Masood. Murad. Murad. <laughs> awesome. 
Jennifer T. Nguyen. Huh? Millie Nan Nguyen. Good to see you. Jiroxy Del Valle Pastrano Ortega. Danielle Marie Penn, summa cum laude. <laughs> J.C. R. Quinteros. <laughs> Manahel Rabani. <laughs> Soila Flores Rasso. Abigail Elizabeth Renner, summa cum laude. Christopher Lee Rogers, cum laude. Stacy Nicole Rothman. Emilia Ruiz Safford. Cynthia Ruth Salinas, cum laude. Angelica Maria Sanchez. Ashley Marie Santos, cum laude. Brandy A. Scott Vasquez. <laughs> Paige Catherine Scotton. <laughs> Shauna Renee Salou, cum laude. <laughs> Manuel Valentin Cimental. Leanne Nicole Skidal. <laughs> Felice Michelle Solis. <laughs> Martina L. Sutherland. <laughs> Got it. Melissa Ann Staggs. <laughs> Luca? Trevor Sluka. <laughs> Bobby Joe Talafus. Renato Tan. Music. <laughs> Renato Tan. Kathy Ann Torres, magna cum laude. Tram, Diana Tran. Richard Bautista Vallejo, cum laude. Ana Isabella Vega. Thank you. Anna Isabel Vega. <laughs> Maria Rose Velasquez. <laughs> Laura Lynn Vincent, cum laude. <laughs> Maureen Elizabeth Walston, cum laude. Jonathan Hong Leung Wen. <laughs> Leslie Ann Wickham. <laughs> I 
I am now pleased to announce the names of those receiving their master's degrees from the School of Business Administration. Chiedu Victori Adigwe. Amar Hani Al Kilani. What did I put first? I don't think I put it down first. <laughs> Perla M. Beltran. Congratulations. Christopher J. Berger. Daryl L. Bostic. Kimberly Ann Chan. Brandon Joseph Chizer. Matthew Anthony Cianciosi. <laughs> Annie Dew. <laughs> Devon Vera Deeser, UHV employee. Robert Allen Felder. <laughs> Lashanta Danielle Green. Sorry. <laughs> James Robert Green. Annie Hedder. <laughs> Angelica E. Hargrove. <laughs> Brianne Lachey Hobbold, UHV employee. Joel Andrew Hudson. Janos E. Janosi. Sean Preston Johnson. Tay Adebola Johnson. Adam Rogers Joyner. Syed Umar Cosme. Saad Zafar Khan. <laughs> Suhail Z. Khan. <laughs> Ian N. Looper. Congratulations. 
Wa Mai. Akash Mishra. <laughs> Our outstanding MBA student, Daniel Moore. Tamara Denise Moore. Michael Patrick Morales. Cassandra Ann Morrissey. Monica J. Orellana. Joy Peterson. Bobby Phillip. VJ Pratap. Nakisha Michelle Samples. <laughs> Natalie Marie Odell Smith. <laughs> Michael P. Sudheimer. <laughs> Come on. Ali Tamana. Amber Vargas. And Trinetta. And Trinetta. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. And Cernetta O. Williams. Calvin Wei Yen. <laughs> Hillary Catherine McCohen. Wait, 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 wait. Wakas Ahmed. Can we have all the graduates stand? At this point in our ceremony, it is customary and appropriate for bachelor's recipients to move their tassels on their mortarboard from the right to the left to signify that they are now the recipients of a degree of higher learning.
if you are wearing a UHV class ring, you also may now turn your ring so the seal faces away from you. Congratulations again to all of our degree recipients and welcome to the company of educated persons. Please be seated. It is now our pleasure to induct this graduating class into the alumni of the University of Houston Victoria, now more than 19,000 strong. I would like to invite Mr. James David Murphy, a UHV alumnus and president of M4 Restaurant and Hospitality Group, Incorporated, to induct the spring 2018 graduating class. Mr. Murphy earned a Bachelor of Business Administration degree in 1994 from UHV. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations, graduates. Uh, my name is David Murphy, a business owner right here in my hometown of Victoria, Texas, and also a very proud alumni of the University of Houston, Victoria. In fact, my wife Tammy and I both graduated from UHV, receiving our bachelor's degrees of business administration uh, way back in 1994, but I still remember it like it was yesterday and what wonderful memories they are. Fast forward a number of years, and Tammy and I were honored to have been named UHV's co-alumni of the year in 2010 after returning home to operate the Chick-fil-A restaurants right here in the town that we both grew up in. We actually worked together all through college as boyfriend and girlfriend in the early 90s at Chick-fil-A and Victoria Mall to earn money to help pay for our education at both Victoria College and UHV. I know I speak for both of us when I say that our education and our experience at UHV played a vital role in our continued success. Our time at UHV provided us the knowledge and skills necessary to run a multi-million dollar restaurant business with well over 100 employees. It also equipped us to face all the trials and tribulations that come along with a business of that scale. But more importantly, it gave us the opportunity to forge lifelong relationships and friendships and helped us gain a keen understanding of the value of community service and community involvement. I pray that your time here has been equally rewarding and that a glimpse into your bright future has already been illuminated for each of you. I know it's only a matter of time until you're handsomely rewarded for the dedication and the perseverance that you've shown. You are now UHV alumni, and you are the representatives in your chosen fields and in your communities. The strength of the alumni and the strength of the university depends on the strengths of all of you. The university will be your gateway to fuller, more meaningful lives, the alumni join you in your pledge of service to the end that as alumni together, you may continue to grow in service to our wonderful university, our community, and of course to our great nation. I congratulate you, class of 2018. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Graduates, I want to endorse his message. We invite you to become active alumni and to keep close ties to your alma mater. You join many other alumni who are in the audience or on stage today. In fact, I'd like to ask all UHV alumni to please stand. Graduates, you are now alumni. Please stand. Now that you are standing, please remain standing. I invite UHV student Cassie Cameron to the lectern to lead all the alumni in the singing of the new UHV alma mater for the first time at commencement. The alma mater was a student government association led initiative that we unveiled to our faculty, staff, and students in the community just over a week ago. She will sing the new alma mater once by herself so you can hear how it goes and then we will invite everyone to sing along. You'll find the words on page six of your commencement program.
pride and mind. Hail to thee, our alma mater, roaring in the night. Blessed are those who came before us, they who seize the And now if you'd like to join us in singing it yourselves. You can be seated. That sounded great. Thank you, Miss Cameron. The, honor, the alma mater is a great new tradition at UHV that we will sing at all commencement ceremonies and other events from this point forward. And you can say you were there at the beginning. So thank you for all being a part of this new tradition. It takes many people to plan and organize a commencement ceremony. I would like to thank the staff who made this ceremony possible. <laughs> Your hard work is much appreciated. And of course, thanks to all our special great, uh, guests for being with us today. Let me also say to our graduates how proud we are of your accomplishments. Many of you have overcome numerous challenges to reach this day. We salute you. I wish you every happiness and much success in the years ahead. Remember in the words of French-American historian Jacques Barzon, the test and the use of a man's exercise is that he finds pleasure in the exercise of his or her mind. Our goal has been not only to educate you while you're at UHV, but also to show you the importance of lifelong learning. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at the commencement ceremony of the University of Houston, Victoria. I will now turn the proceedings over to Dr. Ben Ur, our Grand Marshal. Thank you, Dr. Cameron. 
Congratulations, graduate. Following the recession, uh, the, print, uh, the, the spring commencement ceremony for UHV will stand adjourned. Will everyone please remain seated during the recessional of the presidential party and graduate. <laughs>